But first, remembering an aviation legend who left his mark on Orlando. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Matt Austin. So tonight, tributes and remembrances are pouring in for Colonel Joe Kittinger. He died today at 94 years old. As Central Florida mourns, there are many reasons to celebrate an extraordinary life well lived. New at 11, News 6's Troy Campbell is in Orlando with the details of that remarkable life. This park here next to Orlando's executive airport is named in honor of Colonel Kinninger. We spoke to his longtime friend, co-pilot and business partner about the impact he left behind on Central Florida. Joe was just like uh, my older brother. Bob Snow says his unique bond with longtime friend Colonel Joe Kinninger goes back several decades. The two have co-piloted aircrafts and hot air balloons across the globe. I just can't imagine Joe kidding or not being here. I mean, he was he was such a part of, of everything we did. During his service in the Air Force in the 1960s, Colonel Joe Kittinger became the first man to ever witness the curvature of the Earth, falling more than 100,000 feet to test an escape system that pilots and astronauts would later rely on to save their lives. His work would eventually lead to the shuttle program, studying gravity's effects on the human body. The best thing that ever happened to me was meeting Joe Kittinger because he brought professionalism and he brought excitement. Then in the 1970s, Snow purchased and developed what would become the Church Street Entertainment District in downtown Orlando. Employing hundreds of people, Snow says he called on his longtime friend, Colonel Joe, to help lead his crew. And from being in the Air Force as a, as a colonel, he knew how to run a squadron. So he ran that flying circus and the ballooning and the, and the sky riding and the aerial billboards and, and all of that, just, just like he was running an Air Force function. Snow says he spoke with Kittinger less than 24 hours before his passing. He was just ready for anything, but he, he, he was an engineer. He never did anything uh, without good cause. I mean, like, like when he jumped out of the the balloon at, at 102,800 feet in the Air Force. Florida Senator Rick Scott sent out a tweet thanking Kinniger for his service and contributions. We are also told a memorial service in his honor will take place in January. In Orlando, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.